Guys, today we're taking a look at Devo uh, temperature humidity sensor with a hub. The hub is this unit right over here, so you can see. And these are three remote modules, wireless modules that you could uh, that use Bluetooth low energy to communicate with this hub, which in turn connects over your home Wi-Fi or business Wi-Fi and uh, provides information data back to the two year smart app. Uh, it comes in this nice little tiny box, tells you to download simple setup instructions, which is basically download the app, plug in the hub, uh, pull the battery insulator off each um, sensor module, and then basically get picked up and install. These are some of the technical specifications right here in the back for the sensors and the Wi-Fi hub. The sensor themselves actually use CR2450 battery and they are pretty power efficient because they use low energy from what I was reading about it. And here are some functions that uh, that go in details about how you can use the app. All right, let's take a look inside. Inside the box, we have the owner's manual, which is about 14 pages in English. Until this point, it goes in depth. About how to install, configure, specs. Uh, over here, they suggest using the Smart Life app. I'm using the Tuya app, and it works just perfectly fine. It talks about the setup process and using the Smart Assistant, Home Assistant commands for Google Assistant and Amazon Assistant. Also inside the box are the three individual sensors. They're pretty small. They come with this little tie hook that we can hang it anywhere, keep it in different areas, easily relocate them. These individual units actually can be opened and configured uh, as need to be. Like you swap the batteries out, just slide out the little back over here, and that's what the battery is. CR2450 batteries, button cell batteries stay in place it can be easily taken out by pushing down over here and flipping them out place them over here let's so look at the specs over here as well and there's three of these guys so they did come with little plastic tabs pull tabs inside them that allowed you to keep them powered off in my case I took them off earlier just to make sure they were the batteries were working perfectly fine and they were and this is the Wi-Fi hub that gets plugged into an outlet and it communicates with these, these three sensors over here. Again, let's take a look at the specs right over here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and install the hub which connects to a regular standard outlet, US outlet, uh, two-prong outlet and power it on and we'll configure the app right away and then connect one or two of these sensors just to show you how the connectivity works. Now the next part will be adding the hub to the app, pairing with the app and then going forward and attaching each sensor to the hub allowing you to get a reading. Uh, in this case I'm using the Tuya Smart app and once you have the app open you'll see a little plus sign at the top corner click on that and select add device and since the hub is powered on it automatically goes in pairing mode and you will see right there I am going to add it and I'm going to show you the next steps after this takes a few seconds Gateways added. Click on done, and then it will show that the gateway is added, but there are no other devices connected to the gateway itself. And in order to put these wireless modules into pair mode, you have to simply press and hold the top button till that green light actually starts blinking. Perfect. Now we'll put that down. Click on add device. Scan for devices. It is already flashing. 
we simply just wait excellent give it whatever name you want then click on done and that's it this is the sensor right here collecting data the app itself is actually each sensor itself actually shows the data based on date week month uh, you can look at the humidity or our temperature sensors over there you can set up triggers by going to settings to set up alarms for temperature humidity level change unit calibrate individually for humidity and temperature based on what the calibration you want it to be if the calibration of the units are off you can export data out you can also use it to control the smart devices uh, I also believe this supports IFTT so you can set up conditional statements to turn lights off uh, AC units on and off or central air conditioning units on and off as needed uh, basically you'll be placing all these other additional two units into pair mode by pressing and holding the button on top and adding them via the add device option at the bottom thank you so much for watching this video if you have any questions feel free to comment I'll be happy to answer them